Looking forward into the rest of our lives, many will speak of a new beginning, a new chapter, a new era, a new pair of shoes to fill. Each of us will have our own beginning, but this end we share. And is that not why we're all here? We're celebrating an end. There's a world out there, a beautiful mess of a world that we're about to walk into, but not before we celebrate this end. For four years now, we've walked around with letters and numbers hung over our heads. Well, the grades, GPAs, and test scores that defined each of us on paper will be meaningless when we take our leave. Dust in the wind, lint on tumble dry low. We will still be judged and measured, compared and assessed. This does not cease. But moving forward, it is action that will define us. Zadie Smith wrote, oh, the action will remain. It is a simple matter of what you will do when the chips are down, my friend, when the fat lady is singing, when the walls are falling in and the sky is dark and the ground is rumbling. In that moment, our action will define us. So it goes, I say. So it goes that as we reach this end, we recognize that however much we may have learned from books and from teachers, we learn something more valuable by just being here together. We learn how to be human. Not necessarily better humans or smarter humans or humans that won't make the same mistakes as those before us, but humans that recognize the weight of their actions and know that decisions are defining. And this isn't just the big life decisions. This knowledge we gain from high school manifests in even the smallest decisions. What shirt to wear, what to eat for lunch, where to park in the parking lot, where to sit on the bus, what games to play, what songs to like, what words to say, and we defined ourselves. The mess of humanity can be kind of a beautiful sorrow, and well, anyway, you look at it really, the high school experience is a bit of a mess. In all the decisions and choices, the actions big and small, you shape yourself and you shape the world around you. Now this part of life, this messy part of life, is coming to an end, and you can always look back upon those actions and see who you used to be. And there's beauty in that, a beauty of remembrance, of recognizing a former version of yourself and realizing how much you've grown. But coupled with this beauty is the sorrow of knowing that the person you were in that moment, the person you are in this moment, you will never be again. This is the end of a version of you. So it goes. But an end is a beginning. It is the next chapter. It is a new era. It is a shiny new pair of shoes. A wall that is gray need not remain so. This end, this end of high school is a clean slate, a gray wall and chalk in hand. Tomorrow you can define yourself again. The ground may be rumbling today, but this is no apocalypse. So go forth, fellow products of the internet age with your time machine dreams and digital buzz and make your mark on this beautiful mess of a world. World. Do it in sketches or do it in spray paint, but make your mark. A gray wall need not remain gray. Things begin and things end, so it goes. Thank you. Mm.